Yeah. NCAA Field of 64 has been announced, and the Liberty Flames are one of those teams that would be playing on the road to Omaha. Nick Pierce joined by the head coach of the Liberty Flames, Jim Toman, here at Liberty Baseball Stadium. And, Coach, you guys had to sweat a little bit. Uh, came all the way down to the end. The Charlottesville Regional, the last one's uh, announced. But uh, I don't think it matters at this point, does it? No, we would have went anywhere. We're just happy to be in. I feel blessed to be an opportunity for a mission here at Liberty. Another platform nationally will be on ESPNU, I think, Friday night at 7, playing an SEC team that's very, very good program. So we're very excited. Uh, it got a little bit uh, scary there at the end when they only had two slots left. And... Well, that's pretty much how we played all year. We haven't done anything the easy way, and we haven't got to early leads. So it was pretty fitting that we were the, the last two mentioned on the TV show, but we're, we're elated to be in. You talk about the kind of season you guys have had to, you know, last year getting into the regionals with the auto bid, then this year 41 wins consistently throughout the course of the season. You guys did it, Big South regular season champions, uh, and to get an at-large bid for the first time in program history. What's that say about the way that the program's evolved? Well, we're getting a little bit better. I mean, obviously, we feel like we can get better players and get better. And we, we need to finish strong and, and try to win a regional, take that next step, try to get to a super regional. Um, but, you know, it, it feels good to be back in the regionals two years in a row. We'd like to make it, you know, an every year occurrence, but it's not easy. I mean, we had a best year in the history of Liberty Baseball and 23 and 3 in the conference and you know the last couple of weeks we're 5 and 5 and then we're like well are we in or we're not in and you know our RPI is still 28 but you always wonder whether your name's going to be picked so it's very difficult in a in a so-called mid-major conference to get an at large bid and you have to almost be perfect and we went 23 and 3 and 41 wins and with the 28 RPI we were pretty close to that and then at the end there we kind of Stumbled a little bit, and hopefully this is a renewed energy, and I think the guys are really excited to be playing up in Virginia. Great environment, uh, great program up there. Um, so I think it probably helps that we're a three seed rather than a two seed and a little less pressure, and we're only an hour away from Liberty. Hopefully some Liberty fans can make their way up there. And uh, But we're excited, that's for sure. Yeah, there are definitely some good things to that, as you mentioned, but a little bit of a tough draw still. I mean, Virginia, a national seed out of the ACC, and you've got uh, Arkansas out of the SEC. I mean, it's a little bit of a tough deal. Well, almost every team that's in a regional looks at their bracket and says it's the best one or it's tough. I mean, they're all tough. When you're, when you're in a regional, the one seed is going to be one of the best teams in the program or in the country, and the two seed is going to be really good. So, you know, Arkansas has been in Omaha several times, and uh, – you know, they always have great pitching, and they always are in regionals and super regionals. And, and Virginia has been one of the top programs in the country in the last 10 years. So, um, and, and Bucknell, I'm sure they're good. I don't know much about them, but anytime you get in a regional, it's going to be, you know, I'm not worried about whether it's a tough draw or an easy draw. It's a draw, and we're going to be in it. So we got a chance. You look at your pitching and the way that you are able to kind of line things up a little bit going in. Uh, how, do, how do you feel about the way things are going to shake out this weekend, or is it too soon to, to, to really tell? Yeah, we've got to look at all the different scouting reports we get, the different stat sheets and the matchups, and figure out who to pitch. Obviously, Lambert will be our guy on Friday. And then from there on, it could be any number of guys. And we'll have to make a decision based on uh, how, uh, you know, who we play and what their stats look like, what the scouting reports look like, and uh, lefty-righty matchups. Uh, so, you know, it'll probably be Lambert and then TBA, TBA, TBA. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck to you here in Charlottesville. Looking forward to making the trip up. Thanks a lot, Nick. Appreciate it. All right, we're joined now by Big South Pitcher of the Year, Trey Lambert, and he will get the start on Friday night against Arkansas in the Charlottesville Regional. Uh, Trey, we'll talk about that in a moment, but first of all, Let's talk about the tension in this room as you guys lead up to that last regional bracket to get announced. Uh, what was it like when you when you saw the name come up on the screen? Very big relief, absolutely. Um, being the last game showing up on the board is is especially tough. I mean, no one, I mean, sitting here as a senior was, did I play my last game over the weekend? So, I mean, sitting there and thinking, all right, I mean, am I going to get to take the ball for the flame train again? That's it's a big thought, and, and coming down to the wire, it was definitely a relief to see our name pop up on the board. You go from, from per, feeling pretty good about your odds of, of getting in, and I think everyone, at least from the outside perspective, felt like that this team would be in. But uh, looking at it, you know, 
from your perspective, and as time continues to go by, how much more nervous did you get? I'd say that I definitely got antsy near the end. Um, beginning of the show, I was like, okay, this is going to happen. Let's, uh, let's just sit back and see where we're going. And then there's 16 teams left, and then there's eight teams left. And you're just like, well, okay, is this, is this the end? Is this going to happen, or um, do we have more in store? So it was definitely um, a climatic moment. Second straight year in a regional for this ball club. Uh, what did you guys learn from last year that you'll be able to take forward this year? Just, I mean, we've been in the environment now. Um, a lot of the guys on this team have played in a regional now. So just knowing that we can go down there and not um, not be in an environment that's that's bigger than us. I um, mean, we, we stepped in last year kind of new to the game. And, I mean, this year we know what to expect. It's going to be, I mean, a big-time game, big-time crowd, and um, just a big-time situation, um, every pitch, every bat. So I think that guys will be a little bit more confident rolling in this time and um, our expectations are final destination Omaha, so it's just one game at a time. When you think about getting the ball on Friday night in front of a big crowd like that against an SEC team in Arkansas, you know how excited do you get? Oh, it's it's very exciting. Uh, I mean, you you live to pitch against um, I mean the best people in the game, and I mean that's one of the top conferences in the country, and they're a very good program. So it's it's exciting to know that um, I'm going to have the honor of taking the ball in the opening game and get a chance to get a win over uh, over a big time team. You may see some 95s, 96s up there on the board. <laughs> a little little antsy in that first inning. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what the adrenaline can throw up there. <laughs> How do you corral that and, and keep yourself, you know, still in the moment and poised? Just have to slow things down. I mean, pitching comes down to one pitch at a time. Um, I mean, it, it's not about how hard you throw it. It's not about whether it's going to be a swing and miss. It's just executing a pitch. Um, just one throw at a time and simplify it and don't let yourself get it get ahead of, uh, of the actual play-by-play. You talk about the mental part. Now, physically, how do you feel after, you know, three starts here over the last, what, 10 days or so? Oh, I feel great. Um, I'm recovering as well now as I have all year, um, possibly even, even a little quicker than I was earlier in the year. So um, conditioning-wise, I uh, feel very good. And we, we haven't let up. I mean, we're still, still hitting the weights hard, still getting all of the, the running and conditioning and, and um, treatment in with, with our staff. And we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be on top notch. You guys did. Weekend. Sorry, you, you guys didn't finish at your best. Obviously, two and two in the tournament. I think you've lost uh, five of your last eight. But with this being kind of a new season, new stage, you know, does that do something for you guys? Absolutely. I mean, the postseason is is what you play for all year, and I mean, this is this is starting over, starting from the beginning. Um, I mean, it's one game at a time, and you keep playing until you get to where you want to go. Um, just uh, we'd like to take control, have the game in our hands, and come away with a few wins. All right, Trey, we're, we're looking forward to it up in Charlottesville. Look forward to seeing you take the ball on Friday night. Thank you very much, Nick. All right, that's Flames senior right-hander and big south pitcher of the year, Trey Lambert with us. NCAA Regionals this Friday starting in Charlottesville, Liberty and Arkansas, 7 o'clock. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.